Shut up and sit down. Reza from Frame Me, and we're here with, I hope this is Slim Boy, <laughs> Mo Ahmadi. Uh, welcome to the Mo Show. How do you feel about your performance? Oh, man, uh, I was longing for this day, man. It was a long camp. Uh, I, th I, th I think it was a good performance. <laughs> I think so. What do you think? What do you think? Put it in the comments. <laughs> uh, so everyone always loves to come out and see you fight. Uh, FTR, you've made your home now. They love the entrances. The performances are there now as well. How do you feel like you're growing as a fighter? I'm growing like a lot, a lot, man. Uh, I feel my game growing. I feel my strength going up. I'm feeling sharp with my hands, with my kicks, with my grappling. I feel woke. I feel like I'm becoming the fighter that I always dreamed of being. And uh, every day that goes by, I'm getting one step closer to it. Really feels like it. Yeah, everyone can see it as well. Your growth is really coming through those screens. Uh, and of course, the show is there as well. Those entrances, they are great. They are the, a bit of a performance, but we got to see the serious side as well. Can you talk a bit about that and how that has affected you? Um, the, past, the past couple of months, it's been hell, man. I don't know, everyone, most people know the situation in Iran. And uh, it's, been a, it's, it's been a mental war for me to be able to get up every morning, act like nothing's happening, going to the gym, training to come here and fight. While my aunt was shot three times, uh, two, three weeks ago, three, four of my childhood friends, close friends of mine got shot to death. And uh, so many other people are going on death rows and about to be executed by the Islamic regime. Uh, and I hope people don't think that this is me having Islamophobia. I have no problem with Islam. All religions are beautiful to me. They all make a beautiful rainbow together. But uh, these dictatorships gotta go away, man. This is fucking everything up for everyone. A lot of people are suffering and I know I'm here putting my heart out, doing hashtags and doing all this dorky shit. And to all my friends who are asking me why am I not posting so much about the Iran situation is because I don't want the attention to go to me. I want the people to know too what's going on there. I want them to see. I don't want to put anything out. I want to spread awareness with these so people can go see it themselves. It's tough. It's tough, man. I understand. And when people see things like Cage Fighter and, and, and Fighter, they think of people that do promote violence. But I know that you're a fighter for peace. Uh, with the world that we're living in, could you give a message of your peace and your thought? Uh, a kind man is not a man that don't know how to fight. A kind man is a man that knows how to fight, but he controls it. And that's what fighters are. We only fight in the cage. There are some fighters that do it outside. I don't respect those people. I don't call them fighters. I call them, I call them crooks. I call them cavemen. We're not cavemen, we're civilized people. I go to, I, I have a job, I, I take care of my family. I wake up every day like you do. But this is my passion. I'm sorry for having a passion that makes it scares you. But outside the cage, I spread nothing but love. And that's why I do these shows before my fights. I wanna show everyone that I'm a dorky guy who likes comic books and superheroes and watch dumb ass movies like everyone else. And as soon as I get in the cage, I'm a different person. Out here, I'm a human, you're a human. I will never harm you in any way possible. That's it, love each other, spread love, and that's the, that's the point of living. And I'm sure you're somebody superhero out there as well. Uh, <laughs> I hope not, man. Uh, but if someone sees me as a superhero, I hope I don't disappoint you. I feel like you're a great role model for the young fighters out there, the older fighters out there as well, to be honest. You're very professional always, love your performance. Love you, man, thank you so much. You have a great day, huh? Thank you, man.